Hi guys, I'm at Del Rio Vineyards in Gold Hill. Here with me right now is Rob Wallace. Thank you so much for joining us. No, you're welcome. So it's supposed to be pretty warm today, um, but you say that's actually good for the grapes? Yeah, no, we've had actually a great summer. Um, a lot a lot warmer this year than last year. This summer was more similar to 2008. Mm -hmm. um, we, had a, we had a nice spring with, with very little frost. Um, and then we, following that, we had a nice set with with um, virtually no, you know no rain during during bloom. How does how does the heat help though? I know earlier you were saying you know it, it helps you as far as uh, it helps the grapes grow for longer. Well, there's two ways we look at ripeness. One is one is the sugar content, mm -hmm. and and the other is the flavor profile. And, and flavors develop over time over long summer, um, and and sugars really develop with with heat. And, and so we watch both of those and, and, and we like them to try to, to ripen together at the end of the season rather if we have, if it gets too hot sometimes the sugars will go up yeah. prematurely and the flavors haven't got there yet. So if we have a nice summer like we just had, they'll, they'll ripen nicely toward the end of the season and the flavor profile will really, really look good. Got it. Well, thank you so much. And he was also telling me that heat actually helps distinguish taste between different flavors. So heat's good for winemakers. Coming up, we'll tell you when they'll start harvesting and a special tool that they use to do it.